signs the first two days and uh, practice with some good energy so there's a good chance you might see him so we're getting some healthy bodies back there and some depth uh, but so you know obviously it won't be the same as Nashville with Conley being out but uh, we got some guys with experience and they practice well these first two days so I'm excited about them excited about him so far. During his deal today, Mark, the first guy he reels off is Rip McGowan. He's at the top of the, yeah. I mean, you're talking about a guy from Calhoun. Yeah. Walk what, uh, what do you think about him and his story to where he is now? Well, I, Rhett, Rhett has uh, been a guy that's worked his way up uh, and, and shown to be a consistent player. Uh, he's shown the ability to get open versus press. Uh, he's one of our quicker guys in, in short area uh, space. Uh, and really, really probably been the most productive guy the last week and a half in practice and, and, and done a nice job. And he's going to have to step up and, and play a big role in this game, more than any role that he's probably ever played uh, in, in a game. And I think he's ready for the challenge. How about just depleted in some areas, getting Todd back and the versatility he brings, not only in the run game, but everywhere else? Well, you know, uh, you got a guy by, like Todd uh, back there. It helps your whole offense. Uh, it establishes... Uh, Balance right off the right off the bat, just because of uh, his presence. Sometimes you want to block it great. He's able to get yards. Uh, brings the physicality to our offense uh, with the way he runs the ball. So I'm excited about getting him back. Uh, he's looked better and better uh, every day, and I think he's excited to go out there and play uh, this Saturday against Florida. You concerned at all about fatigue? Maybe in a, a, a problem with Todd being had to miss well, as he played. Well, I'm just concerned about him and Bennett a little bit. Uh, the fatigue of not, been, not playing and then the fatigue of the injury getting a little uh, sore, uh, but hopefully uh, the adrenaline of the game will help them go in. And then we got to rotate. we got to be smart, and we got to get both those guys to the fourth quarter where they're able to make plays in the fourth quarter. What the, uh, how much does not having Todd or Keith out there restrict what you're able to do everywhere else on the field? It, it hurts a little bit. Uh, you know, you've got uh, less experience at that position, and when you're less experienced at any position, it cuts back what you can do uh, offensively. you got to try to do stuff that uh, you feel like the guys in there can handle and then can execute. Uh, you know, you don't want to put them in situations uh, where they're not confident and they're not able to play fast. Uh, so you're a little bit limited in those areas, not only just at the running back position, but at the receiver position. Uh, but... Uh, the more we practice and the more cumulative reps uh, that these guys have gotten, I think they're getting more confidence. I think we're getting more confidence in them uh, to go out there and do their job, and the quarterback's getting more confidence in them. Uh, and that's what the one thing I said after the loss uh, a week and a half ago is we got to get better uh, at what we do. The guys that are going to be there, we've got to get better, and we got to be confident in what they do. And, and we've done a nice job in a week and a half so far. Experience in this rivalry as both a player and a coach, what do you see as always remain the same about it? Well, it's going to be a, for one, it's going to be a physical, hard fought football game. Nobody's really going to give anybody an inch. You're going to have to earn everything that you get. Uh, you know, it's going to have to be a game of patience. Uh, they're going to make plays. They're one, one, if not the most dominant defense in the league. I know they are statistically. So we got to be patient, and, and we've got opportunities. We got to take advantage of them. But uh, you got to be ready for a fight. Uh, you got to respond to the challenge, and uh, you know you got to be able to handle uh, when they're going to make some plays because they're going to make some. Like when you look at y'all's receivers and being lost, and what you've got. I mean, a lot of people would look at the matchup there with their secondary and how yeah. good they are. Mm -hmm. What what is going to be the key there? For you guys to, to make it down against that second, mm. uh, you know we got to keep we got to keep playing. We got to you know hopefully get some get some opportunities uh, to make some plays. And uh, when we have that opportunity, we got to make them. Uh, you know, two years ago those opportunities came on fourth down, very tight coverage. Uh, we made plays uh, last year. You know, on the third down was tight coverage uh, that Malcolm made. Uh, they don't give up a lot, uh, but when you got an opportunity to make a play. You got to make it, and then we got to trust our guys uh, running the routes, and we got to throw the ball with confidence. Uh, we can't be afraid of making mistakes. Uh, so one thing I've been preaching the last week and a half: I want us to let it rip. I don't want to be afraid of making a mistake. Let it rip, and give the guys a chance to make a play. If they make it, they make it. If they don't, they don't. We'll line up and play the next play.